Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of Emily's Eye. I hope you've been enjoying it so far. Um, I've definitely been enjoying producing these videos for you. Um, so this third video is about my Alana Hill cardigan which I purchased off eBay. So um, it is a used cardigan um, and there are a um, just one minor um, fault with it but apart from that I'm very happy with it um, and happy with everything from the quality of the cardigan, the fit, um, how it was described on eBay, how much it cost and um, the um, time it took to ship it to me and also the seller's communication was very good as well. So. Um, I would emphasize especially for eBay purchases that um, you want to make sure as best you can before you're purchasing the item that it's well described, 99% um, sure that it's going to fit you properly, that you're happy with the price um, and that um, the seller is someone you can trust and normally obviously you can't ever be 100% sure of that um, but normally I just look at um, the number of feedback they have received, um, how many s sales they have made um, and also um, I just have a look at um, the quality of their descriptions and that sort of thing as well. Um, so this cardigan, as I said before, is a liner heel. I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. Um, it's got some flower detail around um, the neck area and um, the buttons are beautiful little pearls. Um, and as you'll find out, pearls are one of my favourite um, things when it comes to fashion. Um, so I was very happy with it. Um, it's a cream colour, which I also like. Um, and I think I'll wear it a lot. Um, yeah, as I said, it fits really well and I bought it for $30 from eBay and then $7 of shipping. So I thought that was pretty reasonable because normally Alana Hills are over $100 to buy new. So I was pretty stoked with that. Um, yeah, so I'll um, just stand up in a second and I'll show you what I'm wearing with it. So this is the cardigan I bought from eBay. You can't see much um, with it hidden behind my scarf and hair. Um, as you can see here, it's got beautiful flower detail, um, there's some little diamantes and pearls and then pearl buttons all the way down here. Um, I'll just bit, move a bit closer, it's also got some um, sort of light brown stitching detail here. Um, the only fault I found with the cardigan and um, this was something the seller wrote in the description, so I was aware of it when I bought it. Um, but there is a small stain on the cuff there, um, as you can see. But I'm not too worried about that. Um, it's kind of on the side and I think I can hide that. So basically what I, wear, I thought I would wear with this cardigan um, was this stone-coloured scarf, which is a similar colour to the stitching um, on the cardigan. Um, I've just got a white, plain white long sleeve t-shirt underneath. Um, I've got these dark denim jeans on um, and I'll just lift my feet up and I've just got some wedge um, black suede boots on as well. But um, I could also wear them with some black patent um, flats as well, I thought. And I've just got my hair done um, down and just some simple makeup and some um, red lipstick. So I'd love to hear what you think about the outfit, um, but I'm quite happy with how the cardigan goes with everything else. Okay, so just to recap um, what I put with my new Alana Hill cardigan that I bought from eBay. If you can see in the corner, um, I've just paired um, pearl earrings and a pearl ring with it to go with the pearl buttons and um, flowers with pearls on it on the cardigan. Um, I've paired this sort of dark stone coloured scarf to match the stitching on the cardigan. I've just worn some dark blue um, skinny leg jeans with it and some black suede wedge boots um, which I've got either side of that. Um, 
yeah, so I was quite happy with that um, outfit and I've just, um, I just wore a white long sleeve t-shirt underneath as well. Um, and as with most eBay purchases, they normally come in a parcel bag like this. Um, so um, they normally, um, because they're just a clothing item, they don't need any sort of um, protection when they're being shipped. So they're normally just folded up in a postage bag like that. Um, and yeah, as I said, um, the top came in one piece and I was really happy with it. So we are nearing the end, sadly, of our third episode of Emily's Eye. Um, so um, we've just gone through how I would have styled my Alani Hill cardigan that I bought from eBay. And I just wanted to give you some more information about eBay and why I love it so much. Um, basically, it's um, an auction site. You can purchase new and used items, everything from books to homewares to fashion to furniture um, to cars everything um, basically that you can buy is on eBay um, anyone can bid on an item anyone can sell an item um, yeah um, auctions last for varying amounts of times and um, basically the person with the highest bid wins um, um, I like the kind of fun exciting atmosphere of an auction and um you know having to be the highest bidder to win and um the last minute bids with two minutes to go and you're competing with someone else um it can get pretty exciting and I do get a bit addicted to it <laughs> and I probably purchase things for um higher amounts than I should just because it's fun to do um but yeah basically you can pick up a good bargain um on eBay. Um, you do always have to factor in postage as well. Um, within Australia, normally it's about $7. That's a, basically a general price just for um, a fashion item. Um, but yeah, normally I factor that into the price because um, you don't want to be able to buy it from cheaper at a shop um, than what you you then by paying a higher price on eBay um, plus postage. So you just have to watch out for that. Um, I have heard some horror stories about people who haven't received their items, which they've won on eBay. Um, so you do have to be careful sometimes. Um, just use your gut feeling. Um, if you don't think the seller um, sounds right, don't bid on something. Um, normally, I have a pretty good idea by reading the description of the item and also having a look at the past feedback as well. Um, that's all available for you to read. Um, so normally I do that before I bid just to um, be sure that I can trust the person. Um, yeah, so if you do want to check out eBay, um, in Australia it's www.ebay.com.au. Um, if you're anywhere else in the world, just type in www.ebay.com and you'll be redirected to your country's site. Um, as I said, it's a fantastic site. I have a lot of fun with it. You can gra grab yourself a bargain or you can grab something that you missed out in the stores last year and it's um, come back on eBay um, that you're still lusting over a year later or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's a great place to check out. Um, also, their apps are fantastic. I've got one on my iPhone and I've got one on my iPad as well. And um, they're really functional, really easy to use. Um, normally what I do is I watch an item and then the app will actually alert you before an item's auction is about to close. And then I bid on that item if the price is still at an, a, a price that I'm happy with. So that's normally how I do So do it. So the app um, actually, so if you watch something, it'll alert you, um, I think, about 20 hours before an auction ends and then um, at intervals um, until it ends as well. Um, so I find that very useful. Um, and yeah, it's just a fun app to use. It's fantastic. Um, yeah, so um, any more information you can find on my site. Um, www.emilyseye.moonfruit.com under links I've actually got a link to eBay and some information as well which you might find helpful um, and as um, is always the case check out my blog I'll have some more information about um, my Lana Hill cardigan going up very soon um, and also the Twitter account and Delicious account as well um, yeah so stay tuned I'll be back for another episode soon 
See you later, guys.